What do you want to say? Okay, uh, you running? Yeah. Uh, this is uh, just to, to alert people about the dangers of multi-frequency public lighting. Now, what's happened here in this part of London is that all the uh, ordinary, normal types of street lights, which are basically low frequency lights, in other words, they don't pulse at you at high frequencies, these have all been replaced with LED lighting. Now, the point about LEDs is that they are used in fiber optics and other systems as a means of propagating high frequency information. Now, the Chinese this week have actually said, we don't need to use Wi-Fi to send the internet. We can send it through your light bulb. Now, the point about a light bulb is if it's an LED light bulb, yeah. which these are, um, they have the capacity to transmit high frequency data information. That's to say, pulsed data. Now the point about this is they can also be used to transmit a combination of frequencies and signals which will directly optically enter the brain because it's light and actually access the brain using brain code and shut you down or cause you major problems or instigate riot or instigate obedience or whatever they want to program using mind code signals through these LED lights. Yeah. Now there's one major technical issue here. If those lights, or the lights which are being installed all across the country, have got a power supply which filters out any signal at all on the, on the mains electricity, then these lights are what we would call safe. However, I strongly suspect that these lights have got a high frequency pass which will allow frequencies uh, above 50 cycles, pulsed frequencies, high, high frequency signature frequency uh, waveforms yeah. to be transmitted by these LED lights. Now the reason for this is, the person who alerted me to this uh, well was Wynn Keach because he's aware of the use of pulsed high frequency lights to directly affect the brain. The, uh, the so-called energy saving lights can also do this because they're high frequency light. Yeah. But these LEDs, these LEDs are a potential mass population attack weapon. What you can do is, now that doesn't mean they are going to do it. What they can do is they can put, or somebody could put a local brain code transmitter into the local street or the local substation yeah. and transmit this through the entire power grid and these lights will transmit optically into the brain brain coded signals which will get you to trigger or switch you off Dr. Rani Kilda explained to me in Norway that after she had walked into a group of three of these lights where there were three of them all around her she lost the power of her legs she couldn't walk the only way that she was able to get out of the area was this is a lady who's in her early 80s, late 70s anyway. Um, she actually had to crawl on her hands to pull herself away from these LED lights. And only when she was out of the optical range of the whatever the frequency was that had locked her, just told her brain, your, 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 your legs don't work, that... Um, only after getting away from the, the 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 range of these lights did she find that her legs returned. She could then control her legs. Mm. So I feel very strongly that people should be alert to the possible mass mind control post wave signals that these lights may be able to produce. Now, unless I got a circuit diagram of this particular light or lights like it. Are they actually DC block? They actually completely strip any signal at all that comes in through the electric wiring. Because we know at home you can plug the internet into the, into the electric wiring, and this means that LED lighting in the home or pulse lighting in the home, if you put the suitable signal through the internet and you've got your internet plugged into the electric wiring, that will go optically into your, into your brain and send signals bypassing the optical matrix of the brain right into the, into the brain stem, in, right into your consciousness, right in there, optically, by flicker, yeah. flicker rates. Yeah. Ultra high frequency flicker rates of, of megabytes, of, of megahertz, of, of megabits. Now the, the point about this is, this is not 
we need to determine whether these lights actually can do this or whether this is a fear which is a possibility which they're going to do later. So if you've got LED lighting in your environment, make sure that you're able to put DC, uh, frequency blocking capacitors into the electricity to which into your electrical sockets. I mean, having in, in the same way that you have a filter on your telephone, when you get uh, internet coming through your telephone, you have to have a filter so that the old telephones, the old style telephones, don't cut down or or cause a problem to your broadband. You have to have a, 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 two, a twin socket system. One allows the telephone to work, and one allows the internet to work. So it's a frequency divider. It's a high frequency information. So your internet works okay, and it lets the, you don't get a squealing sound on your telephone. Because if you hear a squealing sound on your telephone, you're actually going to affect the speed of your internet and how effective it works. So you have to have a frequency divider. Well, for the same reason, these kind of LED light bulbs or light systems, uh, they can have high frequency information being perfectly resolved by these lights and that can then optically go straight into the brain in the same way that the brain op operates with a series of pulses and clicks. It's called brain code. If you are able to transmit the same kind of brain code information on these lights, you will directly control people's minds. They will actually become like robots. Mm -hmm. so these, this kind of lighting in cities could be used to mass switch on whole populations, particularly, or, or subdue them, or, or change them, or, or mind alter them in yeah. some way. And so in, in a case where whole populations maybe are going to riot, or they, or they want people to riot, as in the case in London uh, and Birmingham and other cities a, a couple of years ago, where it is strongly suspected there was collusion between certain agencies and these gangs, where they were actually actively promoted to go out and do this. Anyway, that's it. Check these lights. Will Just they, make sure yeah. they're DC and they do not pass high frequency information into the lights. Okay, how does one check them? Well, the only way you're going to check them is to actually look at the circuit diagram and the circuitry in the light to make sure that all high frequency information that goes in from the electricity supply is filtered out. I have a suspicion that the switch mode power supplies, which are used probably to run these lights, will allow uh, certain bands of frequencies through so that these lights will then pulse and allow you to uh, to to actually be, be programmed. Yeah. Now it's possible that in Randy Kilda's case in Norway, there may have been a fault in one of those power supplies which produced this pulsing effect. Sometimes when you see lights which are faulty, they're flickering. Mm. Okay, now the point about the eye is it doesn't have a very good motion. You won't optically detect this uh, because the eye itself has a certain lag uh, in, in that you, not the eye itself, but your perception mm. of high frequencies can be, uh, the brain The brain will not be able to handle it, your brain filter it out. This is one of the reasons why high frequency uh, three-dimensional televisions, which are pulsing at 400 or 800 hertz, this, this pulsing of imagery into the brain is causing children to have an uh, overload of the cerebral cortex at the back, the cerebellum at the back. Or the, uh, cerebellum at the back. Uh. Anyway, that's um, the point about this is that this technology, if it's used in the way that it could be, will bypass the brain's cognitive functions. It'll be part of the brain's actual software God. and go straight in, shut you down. Uh. Evidence. Or you make you riot, or make you all become zombies, or compliant and obey, Yeah. as in the film They Live. Okay. So that's the danger, but as I say, if the power supplies in these lighting systems, street lighting systems, are sufficiently filtered, I suggest that people should make sure that their public officials are made aware of this and that these lighting systems are fitted with sufficient filtering so that no pulse information coming through the electricity supply could be used to cause serious harm to the general population. Happy day. All right.